Between the pupil and the nostril, which one is that? That one. Yep. Stomach three. Good. And then we've got... Mid masseter is which one? Stomach six. Good. And just above that. Just above that is stomach seven. And then here we've got stomach eight. Good. And stomach three is good for sinuses as well. So, yeah. Is that all right? We got yin tang. This is the third eye. Uh, this is to help with insomnia, help with alert focus. And it's right there. Look at that. Oh my goodness. What's this one? So this is pericardium six, and we use the twenty-five millimeter millimeter needle, and then. We go to um, triple energizer. This is 14 at the back, which always goes with large intestine 15, which is at the front of the deltoid. And then we look at the, which one is it? Triple energizer five at the back, two sun down from the wrist. What was it? Most prominent wrist, wrist yeah. when you do that. Um, use the yin, what is it? Yin uh, meridian if you want like bipolar if you've got some anxiety whatever and whether if they've got pain you can use yang meridian yeah that's fine so, so we've got heart meridian three just at the end of the cubital crease on the medial side and if you go down pisy form just come off the pisy form right there that is uh heart meridian seven Got it. Got Treat it. any ulnar nerve related issues. Yes. What else? So other heart bipolar. Bipolar, and then obviously you can use that for bipolar. Anxiety. Yeah. And stress. You've got, obviously you've got that for golfers elbow if you want keep it up tunnel issues, heart problems, heart disease and stuff like that. Yeah. Here at the fifth metacarpal, there you've got like a little bit of a crease there. That is where we're going to be putting the needle, but I'm not going to expect him to hold his hand in a fist for the full treatment. So I'll make my mark and then just get him to relax his hand. Now, obviously, there's not a lot of tissue here going in there, hence why we use a 25 needle. So, can I have your a fist, please? This way? Yeah. So I'm going to see the crease there at the end. Make a dot and then relax your hand for me. Ouch. What are you like, feeling? Uh, that's really quite strong pain, really. It's that's, not sharp or stingy? I feel fine now. Feels fine? Yeah. So, strongest pain point, on, uh, sorry, strongest point on the meridian of the small intestine. Now the next three points, we've got 9, 10 and 11, um, they kind of form a bit of a, a triangle on the back of the arm. Now what we need to be mindful of is um, less, I think it's about 4% of the population have a um, small foramen in the scapula, so a small little hole, um, hence why we use a 25 needle. You wouldn't know about it unless you'd had some kind of injury or a scan or something that showed it but some people have a, um, a little small hole in the scapula so we wouldn't use a bigger needle in case you were one of the four percent and we punctured along so can i just get you to put your arm up there is that okay so we go to the um, small intestine nine is at the top of the axillary crease so when the arm the shoulder is just relaxed in this position here. The top of the crease, we make a mark. And then I'm just gonna try and find. That. You can feel it. Mm -hmm. What can you feel? Just like pain there. Pain, what kind of pain? First felt sharp was still, it feels fine now. Feels it, fine? You can feel a little bit, but it's fine. Okay, 10. We find spinal scapula. And we palpate it all the way across to its most lateral point and then we go under it or inferior to the most lateral point you'll find there's a little indentation a little dip here i often find that if you don't look and you just palpate you'll feel it here 
just under there. What are you feeling? It's just like pain. Okay. And then 11, we get a triangle between, if we were to draw a line, I'm just going to kind of scratch it on the skin with the dye tube, and it's at the intersectional point where they meet. But what we do just to double check it is if you palpate, there'll be a slight indentation in the tissue of the scap. So yours is just slightly off where the, where the, the intersection is there. And that's small intestine 11. Oh, I pulled the needle out there. Can you grab another needle, please? One sec. Is there a 25 needle? Oh, here, there's some here. Can we get him a fine guy, Cherry? You feeling that there? So it kind of makes sound makes a little bit of a triangle. So I tend to just like kind of mark on the crook, the point that's intersectional. And then I palpate gently around the area to feel a soft, there's like a slight dip in the tissue and that's the point at which we want and it makes kind of a triangle there. So we've got small intestine three, which when making a fist, it goes into that crease there. Nine is at the top of the axillary crease. 10 is at the most lateral point of the spina scapula and just inferior. And then 11, is around the intersectional point where the, there's cro the cross. So you can see this is a really good one for rotator cuff issues just because of its location around there. Can you see where they are? Yeah? Anyone want a photograph or anything before we take them out? Oh. What have we got here? So this is lung meridian seven, L7. And then here we've got L5. So this one we do in an angle because there's less soft tissue in this area this one you just go down and you're looking for dai chi it's just a sensation it could be sharp stingy but yeah that's what we're looking for yeah what is it lung right what's this one lung meridian l7 and where is it sorry, sorry do the other way so i'll like, do that way. Otherwise What meridian is this? Large intestine. Nice. 4, 5, 11, 14, and 15. I'm going to cure that slapped hair. Yeah. <laughs> it's gone, mate. No more pain. Mm. Should we clean up a little bit?